A particularly dark comedian once said that buying a dog is like buying sadness in 10 years. And while that's a little morbid and anti-opportunistic, it is true that at some point we will have to say goodbye to our best friends. And even though we know it's coming, it's still just as hard to prepare for it. And here with more is Counselor Ken Dolan Del Vecchio. Uh, and even though that was a sad introduction, we have something to make us a little happy right now. With you. Who's this, Ken? This is Abigail. This that is Abigail. He's a Build-A-Bear, is what that is. <laughs> Look at this little great? munchkin. What kind of dog is this? She is a long-haired chihuahua. She's 14 years old. And she is one of the loves of my life. Mine too now. <laughs> and, you, you know, the thing you got to keep in mind is that grief is the cost of having loved. It's just part of the deal. It's a byproduct. It's, of it's, it's, meeting it's a good what time. happens when we when we love our animals, when we love our job, when we love another person. We're probably going to lose, particularly an animal. They have most of our animal friends have a lifespan that's much less than human beings, and so it is. It's part of the it's part of the deal, and just the way just the way life is. And one of the things that can be so so upsetting to many people is that when they lose their animal friend, it can feel worse than losing a human friend, even, even a close relative. They're freaked out by that. Why do you think that bothers them? Is it, do, you, do you think it's because they feel some responsibility because they take care of this animal? Well, I, I think that first of all, it, that happens with great frequency because of how closely we live with our animal companions. That's so, true. You see them so every day. We see them not every day. See every I mean, day. We, we touch them with our hands. They're the first. They're the first other being, maybe, to say good morning to us in the morning. They're waiting excitedly for us when we get home. So, if that happens, when you lose your animal companion, if you feel like, wow, I, I, I felt, I didn't feel this bad when my mother died. That's not something to feel bad about. Every loss is unique. And it's okay to feel whatever you feel, whatever you feel. Definitely. It's like you said, you live with them. They're a part of you. And also, they're really cute. They're really cute. And another thing to keep in mind is when we lose an animal companion, if other people in the family are feeling it differently, so like some people, they're going to be very upset, but just for a little bit of time. And other people are going to be distraught for weeks even. It's going to come and go for a long time. There's no right way to do this. So if, if you feel one way and your spouse or significant other is dealing with it differently, you don't want that to be a point of conflict. It's not like if I'm not really, really upset two days or three weeks later, I didn't love my friend as much as you did. It doesn't work that way. We're individuals, we go through this journey of grief in our own ways, and there's no particular better or worse way to do it. Definitely. Uh, Ken, thank you for being here, we appreciate it. Abigail as well. Uh, you are an absolute star, I can't wait. You cannot have her, she's mine, she's mine. <laughs> they have like 300 more I'll build her, I promise. We'll have Ken's tips you again on our website on mymassappeal.com.